Hello and welcome back to Free to Play Friday. Um, this is going to be a little different. Usually during a Free to Play Friday, I would, uh, um, you know, get a game and show it off uh, um, at least a bit and say whether or not I think it was a fun game to play. Um, but today we are not going to be doing that. I Today I am going to be talking about uh, um, Battle Royale games. And you are currently seeing um, the Battle Royale Fortnite. You know, you probably already know about it if you're watching this video. We're going to talk about why, at least in my opinion, they are so popular. Um, so I think the reason why Battle Royale games even uh, got off the ground in the first place is because, for the most part, I think Pub I don't know if PUBG is free, but it probably is. I haven't looked, but they're they're all free, which. Uh, is another reason why I'm doing this on Free to Play Friday because, as uh, so far I know, all of the Battle Royale games are free. Um, and it, uh, uh, so that means that, um, you know, chill, uh, well, not really children, but so much was like teenagers who don't really have any real form of income can play these games. And it, uh, um, without having to ask their parents uh, for uh, 50 quid. Well, for, yeah, usually about for 50 quid with the AAA developed game is. Um, and, it, uh, yeah, so that's one reason that, you know, and obviously if they're playing a game, um, then they're obviously going to watch uh, that. If they play a game, they like a game, and then they watch peop all the people who play the same game. There, then you know those people will then uh, you know become very uh, famous and uh, popular on the internet. Um, so uh, you know it's free. You know children, uh, uh, teenagers pick it up because they don't really have a lot, a real form of income. They play it. You know they watch other people play it. You know to learn stuff or uh, just to watch them for fun. And uh, um, they pretty much, that's pretty much how it was born, you know, how, well not how it was born, well, pretty much how it was born and um, is now a thing that EA is basically requiring their developers to put in a game. Like if the game is in it, uh, a, um, you know, isn't already you know, like it, what was it called cool again? Oh, Battle Royale. If, if the game isn't already a Battle Royale, then they're pretty much making their, forcing their developers to make their games a Battle Royale game, or at least adding a mo Battle Royale mode into it, um, as you see with Gender Field 5. Um, and, it, uh, yeah, it's just, that's how it got started, and, um, but, uh, so, we and it, uh, it can, it's basically a little bit addictive because um, the matches are usually fairly quick. Um, as you can see here, it won't take me long to find a match, get into the match, or get into find the lobby, get into the lobby, find the match, and the uh, um, and just like you know, have a game and then die because I'm so bad at this. Like you literally saw me then, I died. Pretty much almost as soon as I landed. So, yeah. Um, so, that means you get into another game faster. So, it's, it's kind of that instant gratification kind of uh, thing. You know, kind. Um, so, that's another reason why um, some people like it. Um, and I'm not big on Battle Royales myself. And that's why I suck at them because I don't play much of them. So uh, I was just like looking up the controls here, seeing if I could change any of them, but I couldn't figure out if I how to change any of them. So um, now you could you could press customize, but I couldn't figure out how to do that, and I just gave up. Um, so yeah, um, it's definitely not an ad. I and. Here's some here's some reasons why some people may not like it. Um, I mentioned this in my first video on this, which has now been deleted because it was a bit bad and oh my god, a little bit cringy. Like, um, 
with the gameplay because I had barely played it and you know I just completely showed how little I knew actually knew about the game but um, here's why some people may not like it. It is uh, pretty much entirely look based. Um, it's based off look where you land and if anybody lands uh, uh, near, nearby you and gets a gun before you do and then just kills you it's uh, um, look if you're just like um, collecting some items and then somebody comes by and shoots you it's look if you're just running around and then somebody's hiding behind the corner waiting for somebody to walk by and then they shoot you all of these things have happened to me in this uh, about half an hour recording session just to get some footage for this video which is in it to, which I, I probably could have just stopped after the first game or after this game probably because I'm probably not going to use up all of the 30 over about 38 minutes of recording I got um, and you and on occasion you do get lucky and just to just to ex amplify how much luck it takes you know, how much luck is involved you know how bad I am you know I just literally just died as soon as I dropped in that time well, um, I'm not going to edit this down because even if I don't, you know, talk for the entire thing and then I'll just leave like the rest up just, just so you can watch it if you want to. Um, but um, uh, the last, literally the last game of this recording session, I came in seventh. Just because I got lucky, I got some good weapons, I didn't run into anybody, and you know, I just got lucky, basically. I died. And I didn't die as soon as I met somebody, but I died shortly after I met someone. It was the second person I met who killed me. And, and it, uh, yeah, there are times where I can get lucky and I can kill somebody, but there are other times where I just get killed, uh, uh, where I just get killed, or after I kill somebody, they, I get killed myself. Um, and, it, uh, yeah, it is pretty much down to luck. It's down to luck where you land and who lands near you um, as you can see here I noticed a lot of people were gonna land around here so I was like nope I'm getting out of there um, and there's a bit of skill like knowing where uh, to land and uh, evaluating whether it would be a good you know idea to land there or not and knowing if there's any like good loot boxes anywhere um, and so yeah, um, a little bit of skill, but it is mostly luck. Like it's luck what you get out of them. It's luck whether somebody's gonna just like one stumble upon you and just kill you before you can do anything. And yeah, so and uh, is and you do have to learn the weapons, which it which again it's luck whether you get good weapons or not, and then weapons you do and don't know, so it's just like, oh, I got, I got, several times in this you will see I will get balloons, and I never use them, and because I didn't, never, like, really want to try to use them, because I didn't know if they were super good, so I didn't want to waste them, but I didn't want to use them in the battle, because I didn't know if they were just awful, and was just going to end up with me getting killed, so, um, there's a bit of luck there, where, where um, you know, you have to uh, basically just realize, okay, do I want to use this new item um, or not? If you uh, and you know, if you don't know what they, what they do, and if you do know what they do, you've probably looked it up. Um, so yeah, um, I know. Obviously, there was a little bit of skill with the aiming, um, uh, but uh, this is uh, the last one of the things where I would say um, crossplay is detrimental. Um, to the gaming experience because consoles like the thumbsticks like the thumbsticks aren't the best for aiming they're not as precise as say a mouse like I'll take a controller over a keyboard any day but a mouse especially in a first person shooter is the most accurate uh, input device money you can buy um, pretty much um, I would love that I would love to see like um Fortnite on the Switch like come out with like Wii Remote um, com um, and motion control com compatibility so like being able to aim uh, aim with it and uh, you know that would be cool and um, yeah, that would be there for VR Fortnite VR would not surprise me to be honest uh, it's pretty much out on everything else apart from soldiers game console um, and uh, yeah 
So he he off, I thought about breaking that, but I was like, yeah, can't be asked, and I just walked away. Um, but yeah, um, so the reason why I don't really play battle royales and mainly Fortnite is because. It's just not really my type of game. It's it's just um, I like games with progression and it, um, you know and collectibles and all that, but where you don't really have uh, any sort of progression. Like the only kind of progression I could really say you could have would be getting a higher placement. But again. That is pretty much all down to look. Like, look, see here, I was just stood there. Instantly, you know, just some guy found me, didn't know where they were. Mind you, I think the red thing tells you where they were, so that was a little bit of a deal from that, my end. But they sh shoot me down to an inch of my health. Again, look, that was pretty much entirely look. Like, I could have gone and look at it, would have, like, not bothered uh, to uh, go that way, and uh, that I would have and that I could have seen him and killed him or you know it's just basically down to look look most of the time and that's why I really don't like it and uh, um, look can be alright if skill outweighs it like in Pokemon um, sure a drift blim setting with, with maximum evasion yeah it, that, it, that is look whether or not you're going to hit it, but it's uh, skill, it requires skill to actually just, uh, um, you know, not, it's, it does require skill to uh, not let the Drifting set up in the first place, or to, or use a move to get rid of the uh, minimizers, because, you know, you go somewhere, it's like, okay, I'm probably going to encounter, okay, Minimize drift limbs are on the way, so I'm going to bring a counter to the minimized drift limb. That requires some level of skill, but you can't really bring a counter to somebody stumbling upon you and killing you, or just running around and then somebody hiding behind a corner and then pops out of the corner to kill you. You can't really do anything about that, or some, you know. It's just a lot of luck, and um, it's like I said, it's just not very fun for me. And um, yeah, but I do get why some people do like it. Again, the instant gratification, the fact that it's free and you can just like jump right into any match. And the, the, yeah, well, by the time I had finished, the, um you know, recording all of this footage. I was just basically like, oh thank goodness I can stop playing Fortnite now. So I am not, it's just not fun for me. Um and I went I went into the game with an open mind when I first played it. I was like Okay, uh, I've heard that some things about it but hey let, let's just go in and then just like try and have a bit of fun and it's like Yeah, no not really my thing. Um so yeah, but tell me, why do you think um, battle royales in general are becoming get more popular? Um, but one more thing I want to say before I go: when I first saw Fortnite, I thought in my head, "Yeah, this is just going to be one of those um, lol like meme-like things that's going to be around for a few weeks, maybe a month, a month or two at max, um, and then it's just like going to be forgotten about." But it stuck around, but I'm going to make uh, one more prediction for the death of, maybe not Fortnite, but just like Battle Royales in general. Especially with EA, uh, the market is becoming over flooded with them, with just like a bunch of Battle Royales coming out and then just like hanging around for a little while and then just dying. And eventually I predict that the market is going to become so oversaturated uh, that um, people are just going to stop playing um, Battle Royale games because they've just gotten bored of them. Um, and it's not like I'm not, I'm basing this off nothing. When typically, historically, when a market becomes oversaturated, then uh, wherever, you know, then it becomes less valuable and nobody wants it. Um, 
But yeah, like I said, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me about how Battle Royales, uh, Battle Royales might die out? And uh, do you agree with me about how they became popular in the first place? I'll see you guys in the next video. And enjoy, like, the rest of the footage I recorded because I've not suffered through Fortnite for this long to not put all this footage in the video. Bye bye
Thank you. 